Hi guys, welcome back. This is Todd Johnson Ball, chiropractor here at Dabs Chiropractic. And today we're going to talk about standing. There's a lot of muscle ways that we can stand and at, um, firing those muscles of the legs and the hips that helps you stand correctly, can help protect your back and also energize your legs and also remove stress and irritation off your feet. So for irritation issues like plantar fasciitis, can help you with heel spurs, can help you with knee issues, as well as hip issues. So let's begin. So the first thing I want you to do is when you're standing, you can stand here with your feet level apart. And it's nice if you have a line like I have like right here. And when you're standing, I would love your second toe to be facing forward. I'd love your heels, your ankles to be right over your second toe. I like the, he, the knees to be right over there and the hips to be right there. So let's begin. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna engage my muscles to push my hips apart from each other. So I'm pushing apart like this. If I'm on the ground and the, I'm on sliders right now to show you this, but I'm pushing my feet apart like this. You're not using sliders, but you're just gonna engage your muscles as if to feel, push your feet apart from each other, just like I'm doing. See, I'm pushing my feet apart from each other, except in your case, it's just gonna be an isometric contraction I'm not gonna roll on my outsides of my feet like this. I'm gonna push apart. If I'm doing that well, I'll feel that start to push into the sacroiliac joint down here and start to feel maybe a little release of pressure of some chronic pain even way down here. All right, so that's our first motion. Our first motion, as we breathe out, we're just gonna push out. That's called adduction. And remember, we're going like this. The next action we're gonna do with our feet we're gonna try is we're gonna try to turn our legs out. See, I'm turning out from my hips. I'm turning out from here. Ballet dancers, you know this one, the ballet dancers I work with a lot, always tell me, they go, Todd, it, I turn out from here. As I turn out, again, I'm gonna do that just isometrically, I'm gonna turn out. And as I turn out, it allows me actually to lift up on my toes. As I turn out, if you can imagine my feet here, as I turn out, my feet can be flat. I even feel my arches and my feet raised, so it might even help you with chronic feet pain. So here we go. We're gonna combine two muscular actions now. We're pushing out and we're turning out. And we should feel how that fortifies and protects our lower back a little bit and then our hips. All right, so we got two parts of the act of standing. The next and final component is when we're on our feet, we wanna be a little lighter on our toes. So if I'm on a wobble board and we do a ton of balance training here at Debs, because we believe when you have better balance, you have a better relationship with gravity, you have better stabilizers. And when you have better stabilizers, your adjustments hold longer for a longer period of time. Remember, we want to make you almost, we want to make the need for chiropractic not obs almost obsolete because you are so strong. Our idea is to rehab you. So I'm going to stand here on this. And if you notice, when I stand on that wobble board, I wasn't on my toes too much. I was more on my heels. So this last and final component, you're gonna be digging in more with your heels so that you can wiggle your toes. Our yoga practitioners out there will go, oh yeah, we tell people to weight bear evenly on our feet, but you should be able to wiggle your toes. Most people, we stand on the balls of the feet. And as we're standing on the balls of our feet, we have a tendency to push forward here. And you can see what that would do to those lumbar facet joints. Those joints get jammed there. Can you all see that? Let me just zoom in on here. Can you see that joint right there? Boom, look at that. Right there, look at that. Boom, it's jamming right there. So it can jam. So our facet syndrome folks, our folks with low back would love this. So remember our final component is we're going to what? Push out first, then we squeeze, and then we dig in with our heels. So three components. So we push, we squeeze, dig in. Do we ever lock out the knees? No, no, no. And we can practice this every hour. It's called active standing. And I want you to see how it fortifies your lower back. If you're doing it right, as you push out, squeeze, and dig in, you'll notice your abdominal muscles come in just perfectly and they help support your back. Next time we're gonna talk, we're gonna talk about how to put this all together with sitting. If you already wanna know how to sit, look at my boss's video, Dr. Debs. He has a great one on how to sit. I think it should be coming up on the list pretty quickly. Take care and enjoy your day. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us.